Hey, Ben, it's Tennessee Double A. Just wondering, with the MLB trade deadline coming up, do you see – what team do you see that is on the path to potentially being a playoff team making – the biggest flash or what team that is in the playoff hunt just selling pieces and or that is currently in that currently in the playoff hunt selling pieces just to move on to next year if they are falling back by the deadline. Thanks very much, Bob. All right, thanks for the question. Uh, basically, what team is going to make the biggest splash at the trade deadline? And, and I definitely think a few teams come to mind, but the one that I think is going to make a big splash is the Houston Astros. I look at the Astros, and they are set up to win, and they are playing good baseball. Their offense, great. The best in the league. And, and the majority of, of all categories, of all offensive categories, the Houston Astros have the best offense. What could the Houston Astros add to put them over the top? And in my opinion, it's a pitcher. And, and I think if they go out and add themselves a pitcher, they become an elite team, the favorites in the American League, and put themselves as, as the favorites to, to get into the World Series. And, and I don't think they're far away from that. So I think they go out and make a pretty big splash and add – uh, a, a big reliever that's on the market, or, or even a starter. You know, you look at that rotation, and it's not elite. And, and pitching wins in the playoffs. And Jim Crane, the owner of the Astros, and, and James Click, the, the GM, they know that. Because for years, when they were going on those playoff runs, they had Justin and, and Garrett Cole. And that's what won them those games is having that one-two punch at the top of rotation and having some depth at the three and four guys that can propel you into the playoffs uh, and through the playoffs. And I, I look at their rotation now and they have Granky and a guy like Lance McCullers who's throwing great this year. Um, and then, you know, the depth of that rotation falls off. Of course you have some guys that are throwing great in the rotation. You have a guy like Garcia and, and um, you know, Oda Rizzi, but they're not guys that are proven playoff dominant pitchers. And I think the Houston Astros are one dominant pitcher away from being the favorite to get into the World Series uh, in the American League. So thank you for calling in. Next question. Hi, Ben. This is Katie, longtime listener, first-time caller. My question is, with the Red Sox sweeping the Yankees for a second time this weekend, what would be your expectations for Chris Sale, and what role would you want him to play with this first-place team if you were Alex Cora? Thanks. Uh, perfect. Thank you so much for the question. Uh, my expectations for Chris Sale. Look, the Red Sox, in the eyes of many – have been a surprise this year. And I don't like to toot my own horn often, uh, but I did predict the Red Sox being really good this year. And, and that's exactly what they are. They find themselves currently uh, in first place in the AL East, but back and forth with the Rays, a half game, half game here and there. They're really good. And I think Chris Sale is the piece that they need. Um, I think they're in a really good spot where they don't need to go out and add a ton of guys. I think they could, of course, use uh, use another pitcher. Every, everybody always can. There, there's never a team that's like, nah, we're fine. Everybody always goes out and adds at the deadline uh, a piece if, if they're in con contention. But I think the Red Sox are in a really good position where their offense is really good. Their pitching needs some help, and Chris Sale is going to be that help, in my opinion. Now, look, do I think he comes back as that Cy Young Chris Sale that everybody um, got, to, got to see? No, I don't. And I think it's unfair to expect that from him. But I do think he comes back as a really good pitcher that the Red Sox can go to and expect to win games when he's on the mound. And, and a guy that they're going to be able to when they get into the playoffs, if they get into the playoffs, go to him as their number one. Look, it's Chris Sale. He's funky. He's got a weird windup. He's throwing everything at you. He's a really good pitcher, and I don't care if his stuff isn't exactly as good as it was before. 
I think if it is anywhere close, he's going to be a huge add for this team that they don't have to go out and get at the trade deadline. He's somebody that they can add in-house that's coming back from injury, and it's going to be treated just as they're acquiring this huge piece. And it's going to be a shot in the arm for this team when they get him that propels them and says, look, we've, we've done this on our own. We're here because of what we've done. And now we got our guy back. We got our stud back. Now let's go get into the playoffs and win us a championship. That's what I think Chris Sale does to this team. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.